Van Gogh painted many different paintings of all different subjects, portraits, landscapes, and this painting is an interior of his bedroom in Arles. He made several versions of this painting with slightly different details and colors. Van Gogh made this painting of his chair. Can you spot his name? Van Gogh also painted this chair that belonged to his friend Paul Gauguin. The chairs become symbolic for each artist and their personality. For this project, we're going to need two pieces of paper, a pencil, scissors, a glue stick, and something to color with. I set aside one of the pieces of paper for later. I turn my paper so that it's horizontal and I fold it in half. I turn my paper so the fold is on the bottom and I'm going to make two parallel vertical lines. It's very important that these lines are drawn coming up from the fold. Now I use my scissors and I'm going to cut on both of these lines. I'm going to bend this flap up and create a crease. When I open my paper, it's folded so that I have a valley fold. I want to take the piece that I've cut and pull it forward to create a mountain fold. That's how you create your pop-up. Now I have this small three-dimensional cube. This cube is going to become a chair in our room. The bottom paper will be the floor and the back is going to be a wall. As you create this space, I want you to think about the details that make it personal to you. My chair is going to be very similar to the one that Van Gogh did for his bedroom. Now I'm going to draw the details that you would see on the wall in the space that you're creating. I'm going to add a window. This could be shelves, a bookcase, posters. I'm not drawing an actual room in my house, but many of the details that I'm going to add are things that I have in my room. I have a lot of cactus for plants. It's the only thing I can keep alive. You can add the things that you might have in shelves or spaces in your house. I'm also going to add a table. I'm thinking of this space as my drawing studio.
I'm going to add lots of cups full of art supplies to my desk and my shelf. Van Gogh included clothes hanging in his bedroom painting, so I'm going to add my painting apron. Now I'm going to add some details that will be found on the floor in my studio. This is my finished Van Gogh inspired pop-up interior. You can see now how the fold splits the paper in half and one side becomes the floor with all the details and the other half is the wall. When I close my paper, you can see how the pop-up creates this negative space. It's time for us to use our second piece of paper. I fold the paper in half, and then I'm going to take my finished drawing and tuck it carefully inside. I'm going to use a glue stick and I'm going to make sure that I add the glue stick to the inside drawing. I want to make sure I go around the space created by my pop-up. That way I don't accidentally glue it down. I'm going to repeat the same step on the back cover. I like to make sure I put my glue on the drawing paper and avoid the part that's the pop-up. Now to do something about this boring cover. I hope you enjoyed creating this Van Gogh inspired pop-up.